What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony here from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 43rd Java programming tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys a few more methods in the string class. I think I'm only going to be doing two actually. And uh, yeah, so this tutorial is going to be relatively, relatively easy. And uh, yeah, so let's just jump right into it. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to make your string variable. I'm going to call it random string because I can't think of anything right now. Because I don't have a very creative brain. And uh, so random string random. First thing that comes to mind, rabbit and turtle. I don't I don't know why I just thought of that. It's just random. Um, so yeah, let's just do a little simple print statement again. System dot out. I actually typed it this time. I'm not being lazy today. All right. So put down random string. And then let's use our dot separator again. And I'm going to be teaching you guys about this char at method. Now, if you guys double click on this, it'll fill it out for you. It saves a little time. Um, <clears throat> so, this char at method takes one parameter, and that's an integer value. So, a string is basically divided up into a character array. So, Java just takes a whole bunch of characters um, and stores it as one data type, and that's a string. So, this first character would be in an array would be the zero with element this one would be the first element and this one would be the second element um or i should probably say index this would be the zero with index first index and the second index so if we put in uh let's say three into here or no let's do four yeah we'll do four <clears throat> this will take the fourth character or the fourth index sorry in the uh in the string and then it'll just print out whatever value is at that index so if we run this we should get i and there we go we get i because that is the fourth index in our string and uh, let's just do another one let's do like i don't know 12. if we run this we get u because uh that is the 12th index in our string and it's a u so that's it for that method and I'm going to just show you guys one more method. It's really easy. And if you go hit the dot and type in length, hit enter, it does not take any parameters. This method, all it does is it returns how many letters or how many characters I should actually say <clears throat> are in the uh, string. And spaces actually do count as characters in Java. So if we run this, we get 17. Um, now, as I said, spaces are actually characters, so if we delete the spaces and we run it, we should get 15 this time because there's two less uh, characters in our string. So, yeah, if you guys if you guys like this tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.